Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary from Just Only Fan TV, man. Back after another video, like the content, this video, go ahead and smash that like button, like the content of the channel. Go ahead and subscribe, man. Look, all right, Ravens training camp day 20 is upon us, just ended. Uh, so, uh, I think that the Ravens just had family and friends there today, and obviously the reporters. I think as far as, as the fans being there, uh, that ended yesterday. So, from this point on, just kind of be like the reporters as the Ravens get closer and closer preparing for the regular season and things like that, all right? Now, you know how we're going to do. We're going to talk about the injuries, and we're going to talk about some highlights that happened today in practice. So, let's go through the injury list real quick. Uh, Sean Ryan, Tyler Huntley, Brent Urban, Tyus Bowser, Pepe Williams, Rocky Scene, Arthur Mullet, uh, Marlon Humphrey. Now, as far as Sean Ryan goes, he, he injured his shoulder yesterday after making a spectacular catch in practice. He didn't come back today, so the injury is serious enough to keep him out, out of practice. Hopefully, he can play in the game on Monday just because he's been playing so well uh, in the practice leading up to this and also uh, playing well um, in uh, the preseason game versus the Eagles. So, you know, you want to see if he can continue that momentum, right? Kind of like how we had last year. I mentioned the before, like Shamar Bridges, Makai Polk. Just good undrafted wide receivers that were making themselves, making some plays, making a name for themselves. You know, I want to see Sean Ryan get the same opportunity, see if he can do it again versus the Commanders. But if he doesn't play, you know, it is what it is, you know. Uh, um, Brent Urban is not hurt. Him and his wife just had a baby, so congratulations to them. That's that's great. So the Harbaugh said that he expects Brent Urban to be back very soon. Um, how soon? I don't know, but he expects him to be back very soon. All right. And then, you know, we, we talked about the cornerback injuries already. We already know about those guys that's hurt. And then as far as um, a new cornerback being added to, well, an old name, but a guy that's being added back to the list, Jalen Armour Davis left practice again earlier today with an injury, uh, saying like he might have tweaked something, the old previous injury possibly. Uh, at this point in time, he just can't really seem to stay healthy. Uh, Harbaugh kind of described it as he's, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll feel okay, he'll practice, he'll be sore or whatever, then he try to practice again, and then it might, he might end up tweaking something, and then he's out again. So... This cycle has been going on pretty much his entire career so far. Um, I mean, it's only obviously it's only, it's only his second year, so not like it's been super long. But still, uh, hopefully he can overcome this and get out there on the field. I think he is a talented player, but he just hasn't had the opportunity and chance to show it because he's been hurt. So, you know, we'll see what happens there. But um, two Ravens that did return to practice today, Odell Beckham Jr., Laquan Trowell. Now, OBJ was uh, never hurt according to Harbaugh. They would just been kind of giving him rest days and off days and things like that, which is a plan that I said previously I'm totally on board with. It makes sense. Uh, we have a player with the talent of Odell Beckham. The number one job is getting him on the field for regular season and playoff football, right? So whatever you got to do to make him survive the practice, survive the week to get to that point is worth it. So that's what the Ravens are doing. So I'm uh, totally on board with that plan. Um, also, Laquan Trellwell, I don't know what his injury was, but it's good to see him back as well because he's been the kind of the guy that's been the leader in that wide receiver six kind of competition. Um, and you would hate to see him, you know, lose out because of the injury, right? Uh, he's been playing really well, so hopefully he continues to do that. Now, we'll talk about some offensive highlights today. Oh, also, I want to say that today, Mike Clowney, he practiced today, his first full practice as a Raven. Uh, he didn't, they said he didn't do too much, just a couple of reps in the team sessions like that. Um, so I guess they're still, you know, bringing him along slowly. He, he is just coming off of being a free agent for a while. So don't want to just throw him out there right away, but he did practice today and he is wearing 24. That's <laughs> saw him in Jersey. Uh, a lot of the, I put out the poll. A lot of guys were like, a lot of people were, um, they were, they were thumbs up for it. So, uh, I'm, a, I don't, I don't like it. I'm sorry. Edge rusher wearing 24 is just very, very weird to me. I, I like the number switched for, you know, anybody can wear any number. It's still very weird seeing certain guys wear a certain numbers. So it's like it's like when you see like a quarterback wearing like twenty two or something like that. I, you know, I, it's just certain things I just can't get with. Right, edge rusher wearing twenty four, I can't get with it. But uh, he was out there, so um, you know I'm sure he'll contribute to the Ravens uh, this season. Now some highlights from today's practice. They said the offense was a little sluggish today. Had some up and downs. Um, they said Lamar might have missed a couple of receivers uh, uh, deep. Not necessarily short intermediate, but more the deep ball, some overthrows, some underthrows. It sounds like to me Lamar Jackson is trying to get his touch right. Um, he has a he has a can of an arm, so just trying to figure out when it's too much, when it's not enough. You know, just trying to get that accuracy right. Now they, he didn't miss all of them. He had some he had some deep balls today that that he hit, they connected on. So it's a part of the offense getting better. Um, it's a part of the offense learning each other, right? Now as far as those highlights, right? Odell Beckham had a, apparently had a spectacular. Uh, one hand grab in the 11s, uh, deep down the sideline. Uh, uh, Kyle, Kyle uh, Barber, one of the beat writers, said that it was kind of like a, a 
vintage OBJ one-handed catch. And, um, you know, I'm sure the Ravens will release the video of it at some point, probably today. Hopefully, they release the video of it. You know, we'd love to see that catch. Uh, when Tallball said that OBJ has done this kind of thing five, six times during training camp, um, that one-hand catches are obviously kind of his thing. You know what I mean? He said, as long as the person catches it, he doesn't care. So, Odell continues to be a highlight reel, a highlight maker for the Ravens. And hopefully, we get to see that on the field on Sundays. Um, I think we will. He pulls off spectacular catches every time he plays. So um, I'm excited to see that. All right. Now, the next guy is uh, Rashad Bateman. Rashad Bateman had a deep catch. He's still playing 7 on 7. not doing the 11s yet. But uh, he had a deep catch down the field, like 40, 50 yards down the field. One reporter said that he was like a deep diving catch, uh, 40, 50 yards down the field in 7 on 7. So Rashad Bateman, after making the one-hand touchdown grab yesterday, comes back with a 40, 50-yard bomb today. Um and obviously, both of these passes, the OBJ and the uh, Bateman one, thrown by Lamar Jackson. So, Lamar is hitting people deep down the field. You know what I mean? I don't want to make it sound like it's all misses. It's not. Um, so, with a deep ball, that's what happens, right? You know, it's never going to be a high percentage thing. You're like, you're, when you throw the ball 40, 50 yards down the field, it's diff it's more difficult to complete those passes. That's just that's just the facts to it. But anyway, so, as far as Bateman goes, that's great to hear. It's great to see. Uh, hopefully, we get to see that as well. I don't know. We'll see what they what the Ravens tour decides to put out, but... As far as these guys, the Ravens have a, we say this all the time, I mean, well, at least lately we've been saying all the time, the Ravens have a really, really good receiving core, right, compared to what they've had in the past, honestly. If all of these guys stay healthy, Ravens have an above average receiving core. I won't go as far as saying really good because I want to see them guys play first, but just on paper and just what we're hearing in practice, it's, it's definitely above average to good. So um, they keep playing better. They keep getting their chemistry down. It could, it could go higher than that this season. We'll see how they play. Now, uh, Safe Flowers also made a play today. They said Lamar Jackson escaped the pocket and while outside of the pocket threw a 40-yard uh, laser beam down the field to Zay Flowers who caught it. So we're talking about three deep bombs completed today in practice um, versus, you know, some underthrows and overthrows. Well, you take it, right? The deep passing game is one of the hardest things to do in the NFL, so he's not going to be perfect at it, right? You know what I mean? Even, a, even the best deep ball throwers in the league are going to miss some. So... Uh, I'm not too concerned about it. Um, I'm actually glad to hear that the Ravens are just taking the shots down the field. Uh, being in the explosive office, getting back to taking those risks down the field, you got to. Uh, too far, I mean, sorry, too often the last couple of years, teams have been able to play the Ravens so close, um, so tight, because, you know, there was just no threats over the top, right? Um, you know, when we had Hollywood, you had that threat. And then Bateman, early on in the year, he was given that threat. I mean, remember his deep pass, his deep touchdown versus the Jets, right? So then he got hurt, the threat went away, right? That's why the, that's why the Ravens were desperate and went and got Deshaun Jackson to hopefully provide that kind of stretch the field element. Um, you know, it didn't work out uh, exactly, but you get the point. So the Ravens have deep threats. OBJ, Bateman, uh, Zay can all get down the field and uh, could be a very, very, should be a very, very fun offense to watch. So that's your Ravens uh, training camp news for uh, day number 20. Uh, thank you guys for watching, man. Uh, if you stay to this point in the video, consider hitting that subscribe button, man. It's Gabriel. Just another fan TV. I'm out.